Hey V2 crew, this is Unknown here, and we've got another Trophy Tales video, and this one's going to be on the first Auto Pop Platinum that I am aware of, and this came out in 2012, and we had auto popping trophies at the time. They were they were a novel thing. Um, I think now you can auto pop some stuff between PS4 and PS5, but Back in the day, it was like, oh my goodness, auto pops. This is amazing. Play the game once and get the trophies like twice or six times in, in Soundsafe's case. So, I know I did a video on the first one minute platinum. And I know you can argue that this was technically faster and first. However, it's auto popping, so I didn't consider it really the first one minute plat because corpse fire blood drive well i guess that was debug so there was a little uh, minutia there but you could get the plat without auto popping so that's why i guess i considered it the first one minute plat but anyways let's talk about sound shapes here because that's why we're here today to talk about the shapes and the sounds so the way this thing worked uh, plat-wise, we'll look at the trophy guide first for a little bit, but, um, plat-wise, yeah, you completed the campaign mode, which was very simple. It was just a couple, like, yeah, it says 20 levels, or, um, yeah, 20 levels, and you just basically finished the level, uh, ran to the end of the level, from what I remember. There was this beat school, and beat school was essentially all you did was place notes on a screen you could copy it from a guide and finish each level in about five seconds so i'll show you what some of the beat school level um basically yeah you just load up the level click 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 done um and that was it um i guess you had to play the song maybe but anyways yeah that was it it was kind of like if anyone's played mario paint um and that song creator in there back in the day that that's essentially what it was but all you had to do is just go to the next one place all the notes go to the next one place the notes here and that was that was that and so these weren't even just auto pop plats but the amount of dlcs in each of these was just a lot <laughs> As you can see, 87 silver trophies. Um, the list itself were 3,000 points. So each of these lists, uh, a platinum is about like 1,200 on average. And so each of these is almost three plats in itself. And you can auto-pop them all once you've done one. So these things were these things were like a beast. It was like at the time, um, it would level you up from. Well, we have the new level system now, but at the time, it would just level you up, um, essentially from scratch. Actually, even a little bit more so. Um, and it was just, it was like, oh my goodness, this thing is such a powerhouse. Because nowadays we got all these like one five minute plats, so it. But at the time, we just didn't have them. <laughs> so, you know, the ability to do that was so unique at the time. And it was just like crazy. And people would be like trying to get a hold of the Asian account or the Japanese account. Um, so that they could they could do this. And, and get the powerhouse level up uh, PSN wise thing that Soundshapes was. And going along with that. It made trophy competitions like people would just ban sound shapes if they held a trophy competition some people or if you were in the competition and you had someone on your team that did not play sound shapes yet it was such a huge advantage like it was it was something to overcome by the other teams and if you had multiple people that didn't have played Sound Shapes yet, it was like, oh my man, oh my goodness. Um, and so, yeah, there was that. 
And so, funny thing too was Sound Shapes, the plat itself wasn't the super easiest thing in the world. Um, like I described campaign mode, very simple. Beat school mode, very simple. Death mode. Now, I'm going to go and say that it was simple. Now, people are going to complain about this. But, and people complained at the time. They would like gripe and like rage quit sound shapes trying to get the plat. But what you have to, what death mode was, was it was randomly generated levels. And you had to collect all of the notes um, in the time limit. And it was, since they were randomly generated, it was just luck. And what you had to do when you were playing Sound Shapes, you just had to realize it was luck. It's not that I suck. And as long as you kept that in the back of your head for a few of these levels, you could you could get through it and anyone could get through it. A lot of these levels were very, very easy. But there were just a few where it took a, it took a while to get a random respawn that was even possible, um, let alone easy. And I remember one of the hard, um, quote-unquote, hard levels. It, it was like three hours of me trying to spawn the stuff. And then I spawned a level spawn where it was just so easy. It was like all the notes were like back-to-back, -back essentially. And I was like, oh, wow, that was... All right, thank you. So, uh, yeah, it was... It, that's why some of these platinum, these completion percentages are low. And also, too, because they probably just didn't do the DLCs. Because it was rather annoying. There were a lot of DLCs, so when you play them when they were all out, it was good. But if you played one and, and then, like, another one released, then you had to auto-pop all of it on all the other accounts and get all the accounts um, loaded up again and, and things like that. So it was kind of annoying. Um, especially because I think the last DLC came in, like, super late in comparison to the others. So it was, like, a lot of people having to go back and, um, and, uh, and get it done. So let's, like, look at some of these plat times on this. Um, like, this had even a 26% average, um, trophy-wise. Oh, I guess that's just plat, plat percentage, even. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's just plat percentage. But the thing too is, I think this might have actually been free for um, for plus, which would really lower the percentages. And I'm gonna make a video on on rare trophies and stuff and why how rarity is affected by certain things like that. But um, I think that's kind of what accounts for this low percentage, because Sony really wanted to advertise this. This was like a big um big indie sort of deal for them when uh, the ps4 came out from what i remember um so yeah let's look at the 100 percent club yeah because these are auto pops so <laughs> eight seconds nine seconds nine seconds nine seconds maybe this guy cheated he somehow got it into eight seconds i mean yeah it would just be like system dependent really um yeah, so the game came out in 2012, and the first achiever was 2014. So it took that many years for um, all of the um, all the DLC to get released. I actually know quite a few people on this uh, first achievers list. A lot have retired by now, by the way, um, that I'm looking at here. Yeah, I know a lot of these names. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Yeah, and a lot of them retired years and years ago, too. I haven't known them for a while. But, yeah, that's uh, that's the story of, uh, of Sound Shapes. Let me know, guys, if you've played Sound Shapes, if you've heard of Sound Shapes, you know of it. The infamous Sound Shapes. Have you used it in a trophy competition? Have you gotten it used against you? Uh, let me know. I'd be curious as to some of your Sound Shapes stories, Sound Shapes tales. Um, but yeah, people would just like make uh, Japanese accounts and stuff just purely so they could play Sound Shapes and get Sound Shapes um, auto-popped because it was just such a big powerhouse of a, of a game. 
uh, profile boosting wise. And if you uh, if you like this content um, or just my content in general, make sure to like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. S spread it around. I wouldn't wouldn't mind that either. Um, all right, enough self promotion. But I think that's a YouTube. You're supposed to do that thing, even though it feels kind of like dirty. But uh, but yeah. So also love to have you board the V2 crew. And as always, I will post some links in the description. Love to hang out on Twitch if you want to join the Discord. Um, that would be cool too. And with that being said, everybody have a good night, a good morning, enjoy your games. Thanks for watching, spread the positivity, you do you, and be your V2.